Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks Build and Rescue video. Today we are obviously working on the supply ship once again, and the depth charges from last time are completely useless. These things actually suck. We will be using the main bit of them though, to design new design, new design? To build new depth charges that hopefully work out really, really well. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and uh, delete all of this, and we're going to start over and hopefully build something that works a lot better. Let's get on with it. Okie dokie, so I've gone ahead and actually put one of the depth charges over there for now because we are going to save it until later. Uh, however, with the rest of this stuff, we're actually going to go ahead and delete as much of it as we can. Uh, and then we'll start building a whole new uh, system, I guess. Yeah. Okie dokie, so there we go. I've actually deleted all of the pieces of the previous system and we are going to start building a new system. Now, how would you think that we would go about this? Well, the real way of doing this would be to get a pivot. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the pivot and put it in somewhere like this. Uh, go ahead and put it in literally just like that. Get ourselves a track uh, and put that in so that this would actually work like this. Uh, hopefully this will work. Hold on, do this uh, backwards like so and do this forwards. Uh, you guessed it, just like so. There we go. So we can have this as big, as small as possible. And we can actually make this go backwards a little bit more, just like this. And that will be fine. Then, if we get ourselves a number... Do -do 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 -do. If we get ourselves a number like this, we can actually put that on there like that. And we can attach this to here, and also attach it to here, and give it a number like 0 0.5. Alright, so if we say we do that, then we give these guys electricity... Will this look like it's okay, or will it look weird? Who knows? Alright, there we go. Bam, whack those on like that. They haven't done anything. So, if I edit it a little bit more, and we take out this piece, and also this piece as well, for reasons, and then we actually grab something like... Hold on, where is it? Where is it? One of these. There we go. If we put this in like this, then realistically, is that going to work? Yes. Uh, and should it work now? It should. It's gone the wrong way. Maybe it's minus. Maybe we need a minus. Who knows? All right, there we go. Minus. Go ahead and put it in now. And voila. There we go. So that's 0 0.5. That's a lot too much. <laughs> that is a lot too much. So we actually need to make it 0 0.25. And then that should be angled up quite a bit. There we go. Just like that. And that should allow our depth charges to actually slide down into the ocean and explode some marines. Maybe. Okay, so with that being said, if we actually decided, let's say that we wanted something like this next to them, can we actually put this in and drag it upwards to a point that it would all match up? I'm not sure, so that's why I'm trying it. Here we go. Do that as well. If we spawn this in, does it all match up? Let's see. All right, jump over there. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, you know what? That's actually probably A-OK. -okay. Nice. So we then build our system off of these things, build them into the ground, and we'll leave it just like that. Cool. Okay, but I am going to change the color of it because reasons. I'm actually going to jug the color of this guy uh, and hope that the jug works. There we go. Jug works, jug works, and the jug works. There we go. So the jug is going to make that all the right color, which is awesome. We're then going to build a system around this uh, that should hopefully make this look nice and actually work nice. So we'll put that right there. In fact, actually, we'll do this. Bam. There we go. And we'll actually put this piece on the tippity top just like that. And that is going to be our system. It's easy enough. And voila, there we go. Whack this piece on as well, awesome. And that should be it. However, we then come across a different problem. How do we actually load these on if that's like that? Well, we can't. <laughs> so this doesn't work either. So now that I'm thinking about it, what if we actually put the, the piston or the pivot at the top and we angled it downwards once we are done? So let's say we grab one of these. We put it directly onto here. Like so. We then delete this. We keep that. And we delete all of this for now. Do, 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 do. There we go. We grab some tracks. Do, do, do. There we go. Go ahead and grab some. There we go. Make them the right colour. So we're actually going to make these ones darker this time. And we're going to drag them backwards like so. That's good. If we then give these guys electricity once again. There we go. Electricity for you. Electricity for you. Very good. And then we attach them both to this guy. Bam and bam. What happens? What happens? They're going the wrong way. <laughs> okay, because that's a minus, isn't it? Yes, it is. So if we make this a positive, there we go. What happens? They angle themselves down, and now we can actually have the charges on already, and we can slide them off. Perfect. 
Okay, so now the slide, uh, sorry, the charges, the charges need some sliders on them. Uh, and in theory, we would like to put them in the middle. So I am going to delete this piece. And we are going to go ahead and grab this guy. Cut it. Move it over one. Paste it in right there. Merge it together. Merge this with this. And voila. We have ourselves a depth charge. Kind of. But now we need the actual thing that grabs this. So that's called a gripper. Gripper. <laughs> gripper. Here we go. So we need one of these. It's going to go in right there like that. And that should allow it to slide off. And that'll be perfect. Yes. Okay. Will it work though? Who knows? Who knows? There's a lot more to this than, than this as well. Because uh, the gripper has a brake on it. And the brake needs to um, needs to work. So if we cut this, we move it over to here. Move it upwards. Two. There we go. We can actually paste a lot more of these guys. So one there. And then we can do it all the way along. Alright, cool. But to begin with, we're going to try and make this work as is. So with that being said, we need a button. Yes, we do. If we put the button right there, can the brake actually work off of that? I'm not so sure it can, but let's see. All right, so we'll automatically have this one on. There we go. Automatically have this one on, if we can. How do I do? Oh, it's a push button. Hold on. We need a toggle button. There we go. All right, electricity for you. Very good. And then we'll automatically have this one on, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, see if this works. Okay. All right, that didn't work. It's not even grabbed onto it. <laughs> It didn't even grab on at all. What the? What the heck? That should totally be grabbing. Should it not? I feel like it should be. Okay. Delete this. Put this in here. Oh, no. Because if I need one of these for every single one, that's going to suck. All right. Delete this guy. Delete this. Put that in there. Okay. So, how does this work? We need this to set this off. Okay. Because that's how that works. We're going to give it electricity. We also need this... Uh, this one to turn off the brakes, but realistically, this one has to turn off the brakes. But we need it to turn off the brakes sooner than that. So actually, wait. No, but that turns on the brakes. See, this is our problem. The brakes will not be turned on unless there's an on signal sent to them. And if this is a, uh, an on signal, we need it to be pushed to go here. I don't know how to do this. I'm silly. I don't know how this works. Uh-oh. So realistically, this needs to be on. Yes. And then that needs to go to there, but that can't work like that. Oh, why is my brain so silly? Why is my brain so silly? I don't know how to make this work properly. Hmm. Okay, I have an idea. I do actually have an idea. We can just paste all of these until the one on the end, and then the one on the end can be the one with the brake, and it'll have two buttons instead of one. Okay, that actually works. Yes. Okay, but then these do actually need to be on the path. And unfortunately, it falls straight off, look. Why does it do that? Why does it fall straight off? That doesn't make any sense. Unless it needs to be attached to this, but that doesn't make sense either. Hmm. All right, you know what? Just grab it. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Hold on, make it one bigger. There we go. Copy it. Okay, we'll move it down one. We'll paste it again. We'll paste it again. We'll paste it again. There's a lot of these going on here. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I'm deleting things as I go. Uh-oh. That's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do. Alright, paste it there real quick. Delete this guy. Delete that guy. And we can keep these. Actually, no, we can't. Alright, delete those two. Okay. Copy. Here we go. Alright, bring it back. Start again. Okay, paste. Yes. Move it along. Paste. Yes. Move it along. Paste. Move it along. Paste. And then move it along. Paste. This will be our last one. And then on this one, we'll delete that guy. I'll have another button. Put it right there. Okay, and that'll be for the release of the brakes. So the brakes will automatically be on. There we go. If I go ahead and give that some electricity, there we go. That'll work. Let's see what happens here. Okay, the one at the very top doesn't actually attach. But the rest of them do appear to have attached. I do believe. Okay, so then what happens... Is we do this. Alright, so we arm. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And then we let them go. And then they should all explode. I think. Yes! Alright, our system is so much better now. It's so much better. And I'm just going to delete the one at the top. Because, yeah, it's useless. It doesn't actually work. So, just get rid of it. There we go. Alright, cool. So now we just put those guys on this side. And we'll have a good chance of uh, making this work properly. 
which is perfect. There we go. As opposed to what happened last time, which sucked. It actually was really, really bad. Okay, put this on like this. Okie dokie. Paste it right there, all the way to the end. We'll then change over the end one, and that will be perfect. Alright, there we go. Okie dokie, whack that in. Delete this one. Put that in. We then need to salt both of these sides out, because I accidentally deleted it. That's okay. Attach this to there. Attach this to there. And then we want this to be automatically on. And this one to be automatically on. Spawn it in. Let's see what happens. Okay, they all load up. Perfect. And then we should be able to just launch them. I think. Maybe. Okay, so let's get this thing moving and we'll launch them as we go. Okie dokie. Press 1 and go forwards. Here we go. Guys, if this works, I'm going to be super happy. Because previously, our previous uh, attempt sucked. Alright, here we go. So now we go out the back. Do, 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 do. We jump over. Yes. Okay, we turn this one on, this one on, this one on, this one on, this one on. We then release them. Okay, they do sort of drop as one big bomb, which ain't the best. So, yeah, that's not the best. Okay, but then if we release them again... Yeah, they all need their own brakes. They do, they all need their own brakes. I guess I could do it like that. I suppose I could. Yeah, let's just have them all be with their own brakes. And then once we want to release them, we'll just release them from the end. And then we can go up. Yeah, that works. Okie dokie, guys. There is a much more, like, evil and di difficult way of doing this. But if we just go ahead and do this. And then we release them as we go. Then they should all go off separately. And all spaced out very much. There we go. And that is awesome. Yes. And if we wanted to, we can actually release them all at the same time. Just go ahead and take off the brakes on these ones. Go ahead and turn them all on. There we go. And we can just do a ultimate depth charge. Which is one big one. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, there we go. Yes, this actually totally works now, which is awesome. All right, cool. I'm happy with that. Okie dokie. So with that being said, let's go ahead and try and make this area look a little bit more snazzy, let's say. Uh, so we'll have a little bit more green. There we go. And then we'll actually go straight back into this color and hopefully... We'll be able to fit these on. So this is going to go like this. This is going to go like this. I'm going to delete these guys. And we're actually going to go ahead and put these guys like this. There we go. And there we go. And those are our depth charges. I'm actually pretty pleased with the way this worked. It's actually worked really, really nicely. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now, what else do we actually have to do? I don't think there's anything else that we should really worry about. Uh, that's all a-okay. We can delete that and put it back to normal, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm actually very, very happy with this. Let me just paint these guys. Whoa, not jug it. There we go. Just paint that guy like that. That's okay. And, yeah, I'm actually very happy with our new depth charges. Cool. Okie dokie. I am actually going to change them slightly. We are going to put some little dots on them. Uh, we're actually going to put a dot there, a dot there. There we go. And uh, I don't really know the reasoning for this. I just felt like it. So, there you go. We put dots on all of them. Uh, for reasons. Uh, I don't know what those reasons are, but they have dots on. Cool. Uh, right, okay. So now that we've done that then, it's all ready to go. It's all done. I'm happy. I'm going to leave it there. Cool. Well, um, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one, where we'll probably end up adding a gun, maybe, to the front. I don't know. We'll have to see. We will have to see. But I'm really happy with these depth charges now. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye. Just before we finish, actually, I could have probably added a depth sensor and then they would have went off at the specific depth. Obviously, I've added a timer and it goes off like that instead, which isn't the best. But um, yeah, I'm happy with the way these work. Obviously, we're probably never going to use these against a uh, submarine anyway. They are purely for looks, essentially. So yeah, I'm happy with the way they work.